Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with iTunes and see iTunes error code 3194 when attempting to update or install your iPhone or Apple application onto your Windows computer. So this is being performed on a Windows 11 computer, but will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 as well. So if you're trying to connect your iTunes, they may have music on your iPhone, iPad, iPod, for example. So I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in Firewall, Best result or one of the best matches should come back a Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go ahead and actually turn Windows Defender Firewall off temporarily. So turn both of them off and then select OK. And then attempt to update iTunes or install iTunes and see if that resolves the problem. And then you come back in here and turn Windows Firewall back on. Or you could just select use recommend settings and that will turn it back on automatically. So that's the first thing I'd recommend trying there. If you're still having a problem, something else I would recommend doing here as well would be to go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in File Explorer. Best match, you'll come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. And at this point, you want to go ahead and select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Go ahead and double click on that. And there should be a Windows folder. Double click on that one as well. You want to locate a folder in here as the System32 and double click on it. Now you want to go and scroll down here until you locate a folder that says Drivers. So go ahead and just double click on that. You can also just click on a random folder and just start typing Drivers. And you can see our folder path up at the top of the screen here. Each little arrow is a different folder we've gone under. And then there should be an ETC folder. Double click on it should be a host folder in here. You want to right click on it and then copy. So select a little copy icon. And then we're going to right click on a blank area of our desktop and we're actually going to just go ahead and paste it here. You could do control C and control V as well if you prefer. And now you want to go ahead and right click on the file on our desktop and select open with. Select notepad and then OK. If you see anything at the bottom of this file that says iTunes or any Apple numbers down here. You just want to highlight it over and delete it. So you want it to look what you see on my screen here. Uh, there might be other stuff in here too. You know, don't want to remove anything that wasn't in here before that's not iTunes related. So if it's iTunes related, just go in here, highlight over and then delete it. And then you just would do file and then save to save it. And then you close out of here. And then if you had to make any modifications to the file on our desktop, at this point, you would go ahead and just drag it back over to the drivers folder. So if you had to make any changes to the file, you have to go ahead and delete the file that's in our drivers folder here. So just right click and delete it, or you just saw me tap the delete key on my keyboard. So once we've deleted the one file, we're going to drag the modified one that we saved from our desktop over to the folder. Select continue, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and restart. So there you go guys, pretty straightforward process, and as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.